Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today we're going to talk about tunnel excavation, especially the NATM method. So before I start, if you're into civil engineering and Plexus and you love learning, subscribe to this YouTube channel. It will be a great help for you. So first of all, what is an NATM tunnel? An NATM tunnel uh, is the new Austrian tunneling method. So that's where the NATM comes from. So what uh, what it is? It's an excavation of a tunnel, and then we put shotcrete on the contour to create a temporary lining. That's the method. Technique in which ground exposed by excavation is stabilized with shotcrete to form a temporary lining. So we can see here a picture of it, the excavation, and here we can see a small part of a video. We can see the excavation of the tunnel right here. Uh, then we can see uh, how we put the rebars. And then we put shotcrete on the lining. And sometimes we put anchors to support the lining. So basically, this is the ATM tunnel. So let's draw it on Plexus now. Uh, first of all, this is not a, a tutorial for beginners. So if you're a beginner, you should watch the rest of the videos in the start of the Plexus tutorial before you can do this. So this is the input. I will not draw it because it's already drawn on Plexus. I will give you only this PDF and share a link to it in the description box. So this is the soil stratigraphy. We can draw, we should draw three boreholes to create uh, this uh, stratigraphy here. This is the first one, the second and the third one. So these are the boreholes. And then we should create these types of uh, layer. The hardening soil model will be used. The hook brown also. We'll draw clay, siltstone, and limestone. These are the borehole here. We can see the stratigraphy of the soil. Then we should define the tunnel. So how should we define the tunnel? After we go to structure, there's this button here that should that uh, say create tunnel. So we should pay attention on how to create it. The NATM is a is, a, is formed from segments. So we should create multiple segments. Here is the detailed uh, way to create it. Segment box, radius 10.4, and the segment angle 22 degree. The second segment, the third segment, the fourth, and the fifth. Then we will have, after drawing seven segments, we'll have this tunnel here. And then we can see the material properties. And then we should draw the lining. Then we will generate the mesh and we will see the calculation. So let's see. Here we can see the lining, the interface. Uh, we've created uh, this tunnel here. This is the properties. So we've put these two segments here in order to excavate the top of the tunnel and then go down. These are the segments. So let's see the construction. <coughs> First of all, before I check the results and the output, I want to show you what we did with the phases. So it's the initial phase. <coughs> we generate the initial stress. We use the gravity load because we can't use the K0 procedure for uh, the soil here. Then, we've excavated the first part of the tunnel. Then we put the lining in the first part and then we've excavated the last and put the lining in the last part of the tunnel. So let's see uh, the results. So this is the total deformation. You can see in phase one. The formation here in phase two it's the same after we put the lining in phase three there's a little bit more of the the formation and here's phase four so we can see now the moment 
here in the lining the total displacement the shear force the ax uh, axle force and everything so this is it for this tutorial if you like this video please subscribe to our youtube channel and stay tuned for more